Hi, this is Mighty John, the record guy from MoneyMusic.com. And another 10 records worth $100 or more. Number 10, Synchronicity is the fifth and final studio album by the English rock band, The Police. The band's most successful release, the 1983 album, includes the hit, Every Breath You Take. The value of the album all depends on the colors. If the cover is yellow, blue, and red, the value is no more than $10. If the cover is gold, gray, and brown, the value jumps to $50. But if the cover is black and white, then it's up to $100. Number 9. Bob Ritchie is better known by the name we all know, Kid Rock. Starting out as a rapper, his music progressed more toward rock and country. Once married to the sexy Pamela Anderson, Kid Rock has had his share of run-ins with the law as well as his share of hits. His arrest may have given him some street creds as a rapper. In 1993, Continuum Records released the Kid Rock album, The Polyfuse Method. A copy can get you $200 today. Number 8. Taking their name from a restaurant in Queens, New York, the Shangri-Las, made up of two sets of sisters, was one of the most popular girl groups of the mid-1960s, with their songs of teen melodrama like Give Him a Great Big Kiss and I Can Never Go Home Anymore. But they will always be best known for their number one classic, Leader of the Pack. The single can now sell for $40. The album, released by Redbird Records in 1965, is now worth up to $300. Number seven, Strutter, is a song written by Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley. Released as a single by Kiss in 1974 with 100,000 years on the flip side, it failed to make the charts. Peter Chris, the original drummer for Kiss, said Strutter is his favorite Kiss song. Issued on Casablanca Records, the 45 is now worth up to $400. Number six, Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy by Elton John debuted at number one in 1975. This was a first, not just for Elton John, but for anyone. The captain was Elton John. Lyricist Bernie Toppin was the Brown Dirt Cowboy, and the theme of their album captured their early struggles in pursuing a musical career. The album, released on MCA Records, is worth up to $15 on black vinyl, but a brown vinyl copy, as seen here, can get you $500 today. Number five, in 1983, MCA Records released a promo copy of Michael Jackson's Someone in the Dark. The single is from Michael Jackson's album, E.T., The Extraterrestrial. That album is worth up to $50. The album went mostly unnoticed as the Thriller album was released about the same time. The single of Someone in the Dark can get you $1,500 today. Add up to another $250 for the picture sleeve. Number four, one of the biggest and best known hits of the early rock and roll era is Runaway by Del Shannon. The single hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in the spring of 1961 and can now sell for $30. A mono copy of the Runaway album is worth up to $500. In stereo, it's up to $1,000. There are also copies where the A side is mono and the B side is stereo. Check it out if you have a copy, that version can get you $1,500. Number three, the Honeys were backup singers for the Beach Boys on their hit, Be True to Your School, and for Jan and Dean on The Little Old Lady from Pasadena. Member Marilyn Ravel would later marry Beach Boy Brian Wilson. The Honeys' own singles can be quite collectible, such as Surfing Down the Swanee. Recorded on Capitol Records in 1963, the 45 is worth up to $300, but the picture sleeve by itself as seen here, can sell for $1,500 today. Number two, Muhammad Ali was the greatest in the ring, but when it comes to records, Joe Frazier and Sonny Liston come out on top. Frazier's single, The Bigger They Come, released on Clover Play Records, can now weigh in at $125. In the other corner, Sonny Liston is the winner with his 1970 single, I'm a Lover, Not a Fighter, Released on Palomino Records, a copy can sell for $2,000 today. Number one, you could be in Xanadu if you own the right version of the soundtrack with ELO and Olivia Newton-John. In 1980, Universal Pictures released the movie Xanadu. It was a musical fantasy, not to mention a musical flop. Xanadu might be a fun place to visit, but only if you have a copy of the soundtrack album Picture Disc with Olivia Newton-John's face on the vinyl, as seen here. Also on the record are Cliff Richard, Gene Kelly, and The Tubes. A copy today can sell for $6,000. Thanks for watching.
For more information on what your records are worth, just visit our website, moneymusic.com.